In this brief example, we're going to talk about free body diagrams and dampers, or dashbots as they're called, which are a common component that you see in free body diagrams. So let's say, for example, that I have this figure, which indicates a rigid body on the left, and then somewhere in the middle we have this thing that's called a damper. So the damper is usually connected to some mass, and in this case I'm going to say, eh, I'm going to pull on this mass, mass with some force, F1. So we indicate that the damper, the dash pot, responds to this pulling based on some scalar constant, B1, and it resists velocity. So the faster that we try to move M1, the more resistance we're going to get from B1. If we indicate motion in this direction, then the dash pot will prevent us from moving it, and it holds the position when there's no force being applied by F1. So you can think of this exactly like uh, a shock absorber like you see in your car, where when you pull on it, it makes you stop pulling, but then once it gets to that final position, it doesn't try to retract. So let's decompose these forces into a block diagram. So here we have F2 pulling us left, F1 pulling us right, and the direction of travel is X1. So we're going to use the traditional Newtonian laws of translational motion, and F2 as a force, as we mentioned before, is scaling the velocity of X1, so that's X1 dot, by this value B1. So when we write the equation of motion, we indicate that F2 and F1, which are pulling in opposite directions, F2 is a negative force and F1 is a positive force. So the equation of motion looks like this after we substitute in the physical interpretations of those forces. So M1 X1 double dot, that's mass times acceleration, is minus F2, F2 being B1 X1 dot, and then F1 being the input force. And this is an input force, meaning that there's no physics that it obeys right now. It's just some force that magically happens. So in a control system, we typically label this as an input, and a very common abbreviation for that input is U. So here we have some mass times X1 double dot is minus B1 X1 dot plus U. 